Hey guys, how you doing? So, it's been around a month that I have not made a video and that's because I was busy with my final exams and unfortunately they have not finished yet so I have still more exams coming in the next week and after that I'm completely free uh, from making the videos and beside my exams I was working on the video but the problem was the subject is a bit hard and complicated that I could not get it to work easily and I have not still uh, completed everything but uh, I think I know what I'm going to do so let's get us started uh, in what we're going to do and we want to talk about uh, open world streaming in Unity. So, what does that mean? Uh, we are going to load individual parts of the map into Unity. If you have ever played an open world game like GTA or Witcher or Division or other games, uh, you must know that. Uh, they are not going to load all of the parts of the mat, uh, map at the same time. This could uh, cause a lot of uh, low memory problems and a very low performance, uh, especially a lot of drip, uh, drop in uh, frame rates. So what they do instead there will be loading uh, chunks of the map uh, based on the player position so let's say if we are at this position in here uh, we are going to load this part and maybe this parts uh, in here and then just avoid those parts at very very far distance so uh, we could manage our memory and keep the memory profiler down and while achieving a good frame rate so that's uh, what we will be doing in these uh, video tutorials and now uh, what you will need uh, for this video uh, you can use other assets but uh, I am using the GTA San Andreas map uh, I found it to be very big and huge and uh, so this will be good for our testing and uh, it is also to get them so what do I have here uh, let me show you I have LAE2 and these are individual FPXs that I exported from Blender uh, I, I will explain them later so we need uh, LA2. I have showed how to get a, par a big part of the map uh, in my channel and when you get this map uh, we are not going to use them uh, to load them into memory but just to use them to record the places of objects so take a look at here like uh, we have these trees in here uh, we are not going to import different FPXs for all of these parts and uh, we are just going to iterate through all of the uh, child objects of LA2 and like let me check select this one and record its position and rotation into an scriptable object and then uh, we are going to load our models and place them uh, in those uh, positions and rotations that we have recorded so that's it uh, we will be just needing the map to record the uh, places of the objects after that we are just going to delete all of the maps so we won't be needing them now uh, what is going to be placed is these individual FPXs that I exported them from Blender and if you take a look at my models we have map complete like here and I got all of these parts and 
these also uh, these are uh, will be deleted later uh, in the uh, tutorial and uh, but here we got the map folder where we have the individual FPXs uh, guys this should be done uh, if you don't do this uh, you will uh, encounter lots of performance issues and uh, you will maybe just be skipping the Unity's batching system and you won't get a good FPS for this. So I have all of the FPXs in here and these FPXs all came uh, with their textures. So if I uh, hit this one and open it in here, uh, you can see that I have all of the textures in here and also the materials. Now you might be asking yourself why I'm using uh, their textures uh, including the FPX. So uh, what I mean, uh, if I open this FPX in 3D Viewer, you can see the it has its own textures. Uh, it is not just white. Uh, I have pre-applied the textures and the file size is a little bit bigger than a FPX without textures. So let me open it. And it's around one megabyte. So why I'm using this? Well, if I go down to here, uh, I'll show you. If I just import the map and uh, import the textures individually uh, like here let me see where was it oh here I have all of the textures in here when I was uh, exporting them from blender and if I just take these textures into unity well the we will get some advantages uh, we won't get any duplicate materials or textures but uh, we will get this problem see uh, it is using the incorrect texture uh, for this part and uh, this texture should not be used for this part or also this part um, and if I just select it let me just select this part and here we have the name let me copy it and search it uh, inside my uh, folder of individual FXs paste it in here here, here is it. Uh, uh, look at the texture uh, this texture is being used uh, in this place but if I open it in a 3d view 3d viewer sorry look the textures are uh, completely different well that's because um, we have uh, textures uh, with different pixels but the same name inside the GTA 3 folder right uh, if I just list everything like PNG let's see if we can find one I don't know why it's not uh, sometimes like this uh, we will get duplicate textures but in this case uh, they are the same but let's uh, search the textures uh, inside unity filtered by texture you see uh, we have these duplicate textures but this is not the problem that's causing this to happen the problem is that let me find the exact name of the texture. No, this is not. All right. No, copy its name and let's get back to the map folder in the textures and. Yeah, you can see it here. This texture uh, should have been used for this part, but because uh, the similarity in their names, 
the FBX importer um, gone ahead and picked these textures for this. And that's why I used individual models to avoid getting uh, wrong textures um, in place. But uh, it had some problems. When I used the individual models, I got lots of and lots of du uh, duplicated textures and materials. Let me show you this. Right here. I got this texture one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. Uh, it is being used and uh, duplicated six times. We just need the first one. So what I have to do is to go ahead and select all of the individual F pixels and then go and find the right textures and materials then uh, duplicate the uh, sorry delete the duplicated textures so that we can avoid having lots of different textures and also lower the uh, size of our project and after that I have done that uh, we will go into the next video and start coding and uh, recording the places of our objects. Now for you to get the models uh, you will have to use Blender and also watch my first tutorial. Uh, go into Blender and import a part of the map and then just export that part of the map into an FBX file and then import it into Unity. And after that you have done that, uh, you will go into the S scripting and type in this code and then click run script. This will uh, be exporting all of the individual objects in the scene into an individual FBX file and then you can import it to Unity like I have done. But uh, there are a few tips uh, that I uh, should be giving you. Uh, one is that uh, you should change this part according uh, to the folder that you are going to export your FBXs to. And also, if you don't want to go like me and have uh, the right textures, then just delete this line and this line. This won't be including the textures with the 3D models. Then you will just have to uh, import all of the textures from, uh, from the folder uh, that you uh, extracted using Blender uh, into Unity and then import your individual FBXs and use uh, Material Search and Remap. Uh, in this way you won't get uh, those duplicated textures. And uh, one last uh, tip is that if you look at here like these trees or these billboards this is exactly the same billboard in here. Uh, it is just being duplicated. So when you run this uh, script, it is going to export this one and also this one and all of the other duplicated uh, billboards uh, like this one. And what happens is that you get lots of different FBXs that you have to just delete those ones that are uh, the duplicate of the first one. So you will have to only keep this one and delete all of them, delete uh, all the others. Uh, one thing that I did to do this was to make a C -sharp script uh, inside console application using, vi using Visual Studio and delete all of the FPXs that the last index of dot was not 
equal to the first index of dot as you can see it uh, at the point of the mouse uh, if they were not the same then we knew that the fpx file is just a duplicate of the first one and then I just deleted that and uh, you should be using the file name in here uh, if you had any more uh, questions ask them in the comments I, uh, I'll give you more information but for now uh, that's it for this video and I'll be seeing you in the next video uh, which we will when we start coding and uh, recording all of the objects so thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions ask them in the comments I'll be answering you see you next time goodbye